CBS 2 News starts right now with breaking news. And breaking tonight, they're recommending the strike. The Chicago Teachers Union just describing their negotiations as a day late and a dollar short. Let's get right to CBS 2's Tara Molina outside TTU headquarters. And Tara, the union president says they will likely strike. Starting Thursday, Brad and Erica, they wrapped up talks tonight and they'll start back up first thing tomorrow morning with the union's president telling us they just haven't achieved what they need to in negotiations. We are at the 11th hour and we are not any closer to where we need to be. Teachers, counselors, social workers and parents speaking out tonight after another round of negotiations. Negotiations the teachers union president calls a day late and a dollar short. You know, teachers don't like it when people turn in late homework. The focus tonight, they want changes made in writing with smaller class sizes and better staffing within schools, more nurses, case managers and counselors. We need to have some type of pathway in regards to class size. I want our parents to know how much we love their children. Calling on Mayor Lori Lightfoot to meet those demands. I still remain confident that we can do this if there's a seriousness of purpose and a sense of urgency on both sides. Earlier today, the mayor spoke to the city's willingness to negotiate about all core issues, including staffing and class size. But when asked about the possibility of negotiations and agreements made ahead of Thursday's strike, the Chicago Teachers Union president said, if, if there's a breakthrough from the mayor, we'll certainly bring that to our delegates. But people need to understand that the decision makers in our union are ultimately our members. Members need a chance to read and discuss with each other to give their delegates instructions about how to vote. Now, an important note for parents tonight, if the strike does happen on Thursday, schools will still be open. They'll still be serving breakfast and lunch. There's some more plans in place. We put all of that information up on our website. You can find that in this story. Reporting live outside CTU Center tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Brad and Erica. All right, Tara, thank you.